dynamic without words, you know, and, and there's this moment, it's totally, I think, sums up their relationship when the, the security guard comes in and you have to, you know, I have to be quiet and it is this thing where you have your hand around my mouth and I think my first instinct is get this person away from me and then after a few seconds she's like, kind of like it here, <laughs> kind of like this. So it's a really, also, it's a like, really complex doing dynamic. All, I had to do that quite a lot and you're incredibly strong. Like it's that's actually one of the most difficult things He's of holding, all the fighters. Holding me just down. Holding you still. <laughs> He's like, Zoe, it's called acting. Like, the most memorable scene. Maybe it's because it was the first day, but I always think about the the, the fight that we do in the Mayor's Mansion, and also just yeah, it was our first scene together. It was a major fight, yeah. combat, and then you were still getting used to the cowl, and there's this bit where you're on top of me on a table, and. It's, you know, so hot in the suit, and he kept on sweating on me. There's, there's, only, there's only one place where sweat can be released, which is directly in between. It would drop directly between Zoe's eyes from the nose of my cup. We would just be like, you'd, you'd be like this, and I'd be just trying to do the scene, but also just looking at the one bead of sweat that I knew was about to fall I could always say quivering at the end of my nose, and I'm like, don't drop. It's like Mission Impossible. <laughs> But, uh, so, yeah. A wedding. Discussing. A wedding. We're gonna move to the country. It's a very toxic we're move relationship. To we're gonna move. Okay, we have different ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna move to Connecticut. And uh, and and uh, I don't know. Just over. There's so much crime. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I could have voted the mayor out. <laughs> it becomes a bit of a Karen. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> big thing in the UK. I was wondering actually if Robert had taught you about Hun because you mentioned it so much in the film. I was like, are you becoming a British Hun, Zoe? I don't know. I mean, I do love to live, laugh, and what the other thing is. And I like love. Wine. Yeah, that. <laughs> and drink rosé. Well, you're already a Hun, Zoe. I'm a Hun. You're a Hun. You, in, in fact, to solidify your Hunness, can you just turn to Robert and say, you okay, Hun? Because that's, that's, that's really going to tell if you're a Hun or not. You okay, Hun? Yes! <laughs> as well. Oh, but what did you think of that? Did you think that was hun worthy? Extraordinary. <laughs> Robert, show off your hunness. Can you can you do a you okay hun? God, why are I, you okay, hun? So you're better at doing it than I am. Actually, I would say Zoe did beat you there, babe, but you both <laughs> smashed it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Selena doesn't really want Batman's help. Batman kind of needs Selena's help. <laughs> and I think, to be honest, at first, I, I really think she wishes he would go away. I think she's, <laughs> I really do. I think she's, she's so focused on, on trying to find her friend. And, and, you know, they end up really finding this kindred, you know, they have these kindred spirits. But I think at first she's like, who is this guy and why won't he go away? <laughs> yeah right it's true <laughs> it's true i think she's really like, like for like five minutes yeah for like five minutes no it's true and then i think she's like desperately in love with him yeah. but i do think at first she really doesn't want his help and and that's actually i think what's interesting about the dynamic is that they need something from each other they don't actually really want to be around each other fans are obviously hoping that you will take on a certain clown at some point um am i right in thinking rob that you're actually terrified of clowns because you had a weird death experience, oh. experience of one. What? I'm learning so much about you today. Um, <laughs> I was about to go in a different direction. <laughs> but like, uh, I think everyone's a little afraid of clowns now. I don't know. Maybe See for yourself. I'm into clowns. I'm, really? That's kind of weird. I'm into clowns, but like, I'm, I'm cool with clowns. clowns. I'm into clowns. No, I'm uh, cool with clowns. No, I did. What I, kind of clowns? Because there's like, you know, like French Clowns. Yeah, I like a French clown. Yeah. Yeah. Scary Maybe. clowns are obviously That's scary. scary <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> have, you t have you spoken about it since? I don't think I ever brought it up, and like, but I sent it. Yeah, he didn't say anything to me. He's like, like, I literally don't have time for this. Yeah, it's like this is not funny. <laughs> That's how bats fight. They scare you until your butthole's exposed. Oh my goodness! When they move in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank goodness we're in France. I, can <laughs> I think they have quite a strong connection pretty quickly, and I think they're both trying to fight that and ignore that. But I think they've both felt like outcasts, and I think they're both very surprised by feeling a connection with somebody because I think that's quite rare for both of them, and I think it, it puts both of us out of our comfort zones. She's very um, unjudgmental of unusual dress sense as well. <laughs> I think she likes it. Yeah, she literally <laughs> I think she's like... <laughs> On first, she never questions it at all. <laughs> so what's up with the outfit? Like, that's never a line. Cool hat. <laughs> I mean, Matt well, one of my biggest, most irrational things what? I realized today, you wear like a little outfit and like when you look in the mirror and you think it looks good mm -hmm. and you genuinely think it, but it looks terrible. Did that happen today? <laughs> Are you talking about your outfit you're wearing right now? <laughs> that's why I changed. As long as you're rocking it, it's all good. Yeah, but that's um, the worst when you're rocking it and then it, and goes, then you think, and then yeah. it goes wrong because yeah. then you're like, who am I? Then you don't trust yourself. I don't know. Yourself. I don't know what's you're going on. I don't know what's what anymore. Where are my friends? <laughs> okay, sorry, we've got another. But then you're giving it off like if the vibe's good and you're owning it, then it comes off, you know. I know, but sometimes when you drift too much into <laughs> like, fantasy, you're really land, not backing down. You're like, no, because <laughs> it's like then what is reality? If you're just telling yourself it looks good and you've convinced yourself, but you know it looks bad. Then what are you doing? What, why are you even dressed? <laughs> this is really mad. And your chemistry with Zoe, how's it feel to you? I mean, she's wonderful. Like, she's kind of, we did the uh, screen test together and she was just, I mean, I've known Zoe for ages and I kind of, as soon as Matt said her name, I'm like, oh well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> it's a no brainer, right? Yeah. And she came in and it was just, just so at ease with the character immediately. Such a hard worker and like, really fun. and. You know, it's a hard shoot and shooting during the pandemic. It's like, it's tough. And like, to have someone who's really cool and has a really good attitude is great. The story <laughs> I read was that you were at the circus and one died in front of you, basically. What? It's another thing where <laughs> I have trouble distinguishing fact from fiction. Okay, so Rob is a liar. He's lying. I love it. And he tells all these stories and now he's like being and asked bring about up, them and, and he doesn't like, know if it's true or not. Uh, I, I, I sort of think it is true, but it probably isn't. <laughs> it's well, a very sad story. It's we'll move on. Um, Your favorite scene you filmed together. You told me the other day, the fight scene. I did love, yes. Well, you agreed with me when I said I also liked the scene in my apartment. Yes. Yes. I great. Do, so. Great. Their favorite snack at crafts are almonds. Me? You were asking for almonds yesterday. Oh, that's just a new thing. I didn't see you eat anything. Though. <laughs> that's not, <laughs> so that's yeah, not fair. White fish. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have one more crumb? Their favorite Batman film, aside from that, Reeves. One of the Michael Ke Keaton movies. Mm, yes. Okay. Batman Returns. Right? Uh, okay. And yours is. Ooh. The first one, I reckon. No, I would say The Dark Knight. I do love The Dark Knight because of Heath. I win. <laughs> I am the winner. They're, it's quite a complex relationship. I think they, you know, they, it, they're they brought together by circumstance. They both need something from each other and they kind of get stuck spending time together. And, you know, I don't think they ever thought they'd have a, a connection like this. I think they really both believe they'd spend most of the rest of their lives on their own, attracted to each other and also totally terrified of that attraction. They have a guy who thinks he knows everything, <laughs> thinks he can see. Like they all do. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and also very controlling and kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of implies mm -hmm. that he has slight lack of empathy. And, uh, and then you have a girl who's kind of, I don't know, I guess it's the challenge for her. It's, it's like, you know, she's trying to kind of, you know, she's incredibly independent and... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Times where I'm like, okay, if crime's so bad in Gotham, why doesn't Bruce Wayne just like pay for everything to be... Maybe everything would be fine then. It's just not the way it works. Okay, it's right, Gotham. I'm just saying everyone can have food and everyone has healthcare and then... Everyone a pizza. Apparently it's because of your jawline. I guess if you're playing Batman, you need to have a very strong jawline. Now, did you know that a couple of years ago, a team of scientists actually voted you as the most handsome man of the world? I did know this. He does. You did? This. Yeah. Well, I know, because it's fact. <laughs> it's science. It's science. <laughs> also, it was like, I would love to meet the scientist. Yeah, I would also like to meet the scientist. 
<laughs> because is the scientist a room full of 12 year old girls? <laughs> All like on each other's the, shoulders in the sign in like a like a check. I can expect a gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm drawing little <laughs> diagram. <laughs> Making powerpoints. <laughs> I still don't think that's actually true. Anyway, I think literally someone just made it up so everyone could just then say like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, no. <laughs> you born in London? Yes. Okay. New York. No. Ah. Uh, Literally told me that the other day. I live in New York. I didn't tell you I was born in New York. Paris. No. LA? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is beach, bro. Thank you, fans, for your questions. Your questions. Your very original so questions. questions. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. All right? Thank you for sending your questions in. <laughs> the next Batman film will see Cedric Diggory and Edward Cullen as a cameo. Okay, can you describe their big love scene that they have in that film to me, please? Mm, the love scene, mm. of course. More of an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't necessarily, I don't know how much love is involved. <laughs> it's pretty wild and quite vicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, Zoe. Vicious and orgy in the same sentence is wild. <laughs>